Well, now let's take a look at the More Sold's homepage. Now, I recommend that you follow along in the user guide. Upon logging into your More Sold's account, you will land on this homepage. You can think of this homepage as your More Sold's control panel or dashboard. Now, from the homepage, you can conveniently navigate to all of the various areas of your More Sold's contact manager. The homepage serves as an at a glance snapshot of your database. Now, let's look at mine. This is the database that my team uses every single day to list, sell, and communicate with our SOI, our sphere of influence. As you can see, uh, just a few details that I would like to point out. You can easily add a contact by clicking right here to add a contact. This area here, of course, tells you how many contacts you have. There's a convenient quick search, which I really like. So if I start to type in, it uh, tries to, to uh, think about what I'm typing. It's a smart search feature. So you can look up a, a person this way and it will look either by first or last name in that uh, quick look. The, this area here lists the tasks that you have. Now, if there is a task scheduled for that day, it will show up in orange. And if there, and as far as the upcoming 10 tasks, they're going to be listed here. Overdue tasks are listed. You can see I have quite a few tasks that are overdue. Uh, the newsletter, this shows you when the newsletter, when your newsletter has last gone out. The showings area shows you um, how many showings you received. And we'll talk about showings in that uh, a little bit later in the showings portion. Also in the My Account, this, this shows you what plan you're on. I'm currently on the premium plan and um, I have 10 additional users. Remember, you can have up to 10 additional users at no charge. And each of those users will have their own unique username and password. And you can set their permission level. We'll talk more about that. Email campaigns. Under email campaigns, this tells me that I currently have two scheduled campaigns running. And I have one campaign that is ended. Okay. Now, for the purposes of this test database, we, don't, we haven't filled it up with a lot of information but you can kind of get the idea here. Now the next thing I want to look at is the left navigation bar. This is another important area of your more sold CRM. The very top, if you have additional users, the additional users will be displayed right here. Now if you're not seeing this, that means you have not added additional users to your uh, database yet. If you look here, you can see that I have quite a few additional users. The cool thing about this is if I select a user, for example, Hollis Dean, my database will change and it's actually rendering and showing exactly what what this user would see if he were logged in. Okay, So it's showing me what Hollis would see if Hollis was, were logged in. So Hollis has three contacts that are assigned to him. Let's look at another one, Carolyn. You can see Carolyn has four contacts that are assigned to her. The, the neat thing about this is if you want to see a variety of information based on the perspective of that user, you can change the displayed user's information uh, here. Um, or you can simply select all, and then you can see all the information from, uh, for, for all, the, all the users. And under Quick Lookup, this is a neat feature as well. If you're quickly wanting to look up, there's the quick search we talked about earlier, and then here's the quick lookup. So you can put in a keyword. For example, if I'm looking for a listing uh, on Cantera, um, or by the way, you can search in contacts or search in listings. So I'm going to search in listings, and it's going to take me right to uh, the area where that listing is. Okay. Uh, now, if Let's say, for example, um, I want to look, search in contacts for Jones. So now I'm searching in contact, and it's going to bring up anything with anyone with the name Jones. Now, some of these may not appear to have the word, the name Jones in them, but you see that this one is in Jonestown. And so it looks through all of your different fields 
and searches uh, that way. You could also uh, filter this by contact status and contact group. Uh, the contact manager also shows me who was recently viewed so I can look at my most recently viewed contacts. This is a pretty handy feature because if you're looking at contacts uh, constantly or you're working uh, currently working on a, on a couple of files this shows you the folks that you've most recently been looking at or the records you've been most recently looking at so it's another handy place to go to find someone that you perhaps you just keyed in the listing or you just keyed them into the contact manager or you've got you're working on their transaction currently the other section goes into a lot of the other features and other areas of more solds. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. So that's the more solds CRM homepage.